Hello viewers, this is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Today I have come up with next part of series of probability sampling, that is multi-stage sampling. As its name depicts, this sampling is done at several stages. It is complex form of cluster sampling. Researcher divide the whole population into clusters and then subclusters to the extent until desired sample size is achieved. That is why it is also called as multi-stage cluster sampling. Now, when do we use this multi-stage cluster sampling? When population is spread into large geographical areas and it is not feasible in terms of cost or time to test whole clusters or altogether use simple random sampling. When it is difficult to divide data into different strata, we use multi-stage sampling. Let's understand this through an example. I'm taking same example which I used in my video on cluster sampling. But here population size is bigger. A survey to know opinion of teacher educators across India about new education policy 2020. So my population here is teacher educators across India. In this example, teacher educators across India is my population. So this is my population. Here it is not feasible for me to use simple random sampling as my population is widely spread across India. So I have divided my population into different clusters state wise. Different states will be my clusters. These are pre-existing groups. So state 1, state 2, state 3. These way I have mentioned uh, different clusters. Now by using simple random sampling I will select few states among these clusters few clusters among these clusters uh, let's say three clusters i have selected state two state three and state six if it is feasible for me to collect data from all the teacher educators across these three states state two state three and state six then it will be sim uh, simply cluster sampling but Again, it is not feasible for me to collect data from all the teacher educators among these three states. That means I need to further divide these clusters into subclusters. Then here comes a role of multi-state sampling. This is called multi-state sampling. When I divide my clusters into subclusters and again into subclusters till the time I will reach my desired sample size. This is not my desired sample size, so I divide these clusters into further subclusters. So here I have state 2, state 3, and state 6, these three clusters as sample. Again, I will divide my state 2 into different cities city 1, city 2, city 3, city 4, this way, number of cities. I've divided my state 2 into different cities, again, state 3 into different cities, state 6 into different cities different cities here are different clusters so single state state 2 is divided into different clusters state 3 is divided into different clusters state 6 is divided into different clusters again among those cities i will select few cities as sample by using simple random sampling let's say i have selected city 1 and city 4 from state 2 city 2 and city 6 from state 3 city 3 and city 4 from state 6 if i'll be it will be okay for me it, uh, to collect data from these cities from all the as teacher educators from these cities then i can stop my multi state sampling here this will be my final sample but if it is not feasible for me to collect data then i'll further divide these clusters these cities into subclusters let's say city 1 is divided into different colleges these colleges will be my cluster now college 1 college 2 college 3 this way city 1 is divided into these colleges again city 4 is divided into colleges again state 3 city 2 is divided this way all the cities are divided into different colleges which are sub clusters with the same pattern by using simple random sampling or you can use systematic random sampling also by using simple random sampling i will select few colleges as my sample let's say from state 2 city 1 i have selected college 2 city 4 i have selected college 1 state 3 city 2 i have selected college 1 this way from different cities i have selected few colleges 
now if it is feasible for me to collect data from all the teacher educators of these colleges i will stop here these are all the teacher educators from college 2 all the teacher educators from this college all the teacher educators from this college so i can collect my data from here this this will be my final sample but if it is not feasible for me to collect data from these many teacher educators then i need to go further i will select few members among one college few teacher educators among co one college from college 2 these are teacher educators i will select few teacher educators from this college by using simple random sampling again same pattern from another college these are teacher educators i will select few teacher educators from this college by using simple random sampling this way i will select my final sample so this will be my final sample what are the advantages of multi stage sampling researcher has freedom to use n number of stages to reduce sample size up to the precise or desired extent it is purely researcher's choice to where to stop researcher can divide the whole population into various groups without any restrictions it is flexible method researcher can make choices wisely it is best when population is widely spread in terms of geographical areas this method is cost effective instead of using simple random sampling it is more convenient to researcher it is more accurate and reliable than cluster sampling as it includes various stages there are few disadvantages also it is less accurate than simple random sampling this method sometimes accounted as subjective because of researcher's freedom of decision making it lacks external validity of research finding due to subjectivity in sampling researcher can lose data due to demographic sampling at every stage due to wide spread of population many remote areas can remain uncounted all with the video thank you please like share this video if you find it helpful and do comment below your comments really motivates me to make more videos thank you